David stands majestically under Goliath Tuscan clouds as the river Arno lazily carves a path through the birthplace of the Renaissance and rising high above Florence, its cathedral. They call it the Duomo with its orange tiled dome. Florence is probably best known for its Duomo. The cathedral is one of the most famous in the world. The cathedrals in Europe are known for their grace and beauty and for their artwork, including their stained glass. As it turns out, much of the stained glass in the new Houston Cathedral is coming from this very city. Well, what do you have for us? Malini Art Glass and Mosaics. They've created stained glass art for churches and other buildings all over the world since the 1950s. In the big windows, we have uh, some colors here. That Massimo Malini learned the craft from his father. Here, they continue the tradition started 50 years ago with the same attention to detail and even with some of the very same tools, using glass stored in numbered slots, every color and texture you could think of. At this stage, they're working on windows depicting angels and the four evangelists, all for the new co-cathedral of the Sacred Heart, as the delegation from Houston inspects. Uh-huh, it ties it together. Some of their work will be the most breathtaking at the new co-cathedral. Here's the sketch design for the window showing Jesus rising over Houston. And here is the finished product in Houston installed in the co-cathedral. It's made up of 40 panels totaling around 6,000 individual pieces of glass. Each piece of glass hand-painted, baked, and connected with lead. Well, that's a powerful symbol of Christian faith. And we show Jesus rising over the city of Houston to, to say that uh, we're asking his blessings over this city. Archbishop Emeritus Joseph Fiorenza is overseeing the cathedral project, the driving force behind getting it built. I, I think it just bleeds out. Back in Florence, they go over designs for the other windows. Father Troy Gately is the pastor of the new co-cathedral. He and Bishop Vincent Rosado are being picky. This is truly uh, a gift to God but it's something that is going to be enjoyed by the people of Houston and, and the Archdiocese for literally centuries to come. Mm -hmm. And uh, we only get one chance to do it right. They're hoping generations of Houstonians will be inspired by the work being done here. The kind of the personal touch of the Italian artist is something that has been very astounding and, uh, and beautiful. As for Massimo Mellini himself, he feels a strong attachment to a project that's taken so much effort from him and his staff. It takes about uh, two years. We begin two years ago, so it's a long way. It's a long journey. The stained glass windows of 14 angels and four evangelists will be shipped to Houston sometime in October or November. They'll be installed in the new cathedral, bringing light and colors into a brand new house of worship. In Florence, Italy, Ron Trevino, 11 News.